how did you, based on your experience, um, overcome with life this frustration of dealing with people who's not taking the job serious? Because there is a people who come there to make some extra buck, not like me who on train reading a new wine by the class description. Right. Or, and um, how do you deal with that on a GM I mean, level? That's a, or that's a really good question. You know, as we as we bring people on here, there are a couple things that we that we talk about with the staff uh, as they're being hired, and one of them is how well do you play in the sandbox? If I have to spend 80% of my time dealing with you and him because you guys are arguing and can't work together, I don't need you. I, don't, I just don't need you. There's too, there's too many other people who might want to work here, and I don't have enough time to deal with the fact that you guys can't get along. So here are your options, right? Your options are like you ignore it. As long as his work doesn't affect your work, it's, you're safe, right? We see you're doing a great job. We know that you're slacking. We understand it. Now, if it crosses over, there's a problem because you've got to get it fixed and you've got to try to deal with that person. And now we start developing your skills, right? Because this is not, this is going to happen, right? This, there's no way you're not going to come across a situation where this guy next to you is not doing their work. So what is it you're going to do? If you're awesome, maybe you can even find a way to talk that person into doing their work, right? I mean, I know that from my perspective, I've had plenty of employees that have come through the restaurant who, you know, will sit down at a manager meeting We'll run through the lineup of who's, you know, who needs work, who's, who's a problematic kind of employee, who's being difficult, who needs to study more. And some of them were like at wit's end and we're like, this one's just not going to work out. And I'll be like, let's just give them one more chance. Let me sit down with this guy and talk to him and see. What... And we've turned around employees and it's the most amazing, marvelous thing that can happen. You get this guy who was like hard headed, stubborn, not working, not hard, just didn't realize what they had, you know, doing really well. You know, maybe they'd made it to front waiter here and they're just like throwing it out the window. They're not paying attention. They, they're not studying and they're being stubborn and they're being difficult on the floor. And sometimes they just need to be reminded like, hey man, wake up. And you don't realize what you have. You're working in a four-star restaurant in New York City. You've been in this restaurant for two years. You're doing a good job. Why are you slacking?